Hi there, so last week you guys surprised me a bit when I made a video about school uniforms and most all of you sided with my friend Luke saying that uniforms are better than no uniforms. Different than what I thought because on Twitter you guys were the opposite, siding with freedom of expression. Either way, there was an interesting point brought up about school uniforms in PE and I thought Jim would be an interesting topic to talk about a video with. So I got my friend Kim here, That's all me. the way from Wales. Can you believe this is her house? Beautiful place here in Cardiff. What can I say? Cardiff's cheap to live in. <laughs> so, Jim, a PE, British, American, Welsh specifically, what are the differences? What, what, what do we got going on? Did you guys have gym every day? No. What? Uh, Why would you have every day? <laughs> because you have to stay physically fit. Every day? Every day. How did you fit that in? We had nine periods. So, I mean, one of them. <laughs> periods. Periods. <laughs> Sorry, we had nine full stops. Um... Uh, <laughs> It's How long was each period? About 43 minutes. About. about it, was, it was 43. 43. <laughs> it was exactly 43 minutes. 43? So we could fit all the periods in. Oh, was it like a minute either side of... There was three minutes to change classes, so in between. Or I had five minutes in between at one school. Do you guys do... It's slightly off topic for Jim specifically, but do you guys do that thing where the bell rings and you all just get up and leave? It depends on the... That's so rude. <laughs> A lot you of can't do that in the UK. And they have that typical thing that the teachers say. They're like, the bell is for me, not for you. Yeah, that's what they do in the US as okay. well. I'll have had, I've had teachers who said like, no, 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 I'm assigning homework. So if you leave, you're going to get no homework, mm. like credit. Yeah, sometimes you'd be in a class like after 10 minutes after if they were like shouting at us. Oh no, that wouldn't be a thing. Like, because then the teacher would get in trouble because you'd be late for your next class. My school was different though, right? Because I, I went to a really big school by mm -hmm. British standards and we had our school split onto two campuses, okay. which were five minutes apart in... in Wow. So like you had to, it was like a five, 10 minute walk across. Uh -huh. It was literally, it wasn't that far. It was through a few car parks around the back of some houses. Sure. But because of that, um, so if you're in the, the younger bit, you only had your school in, in that, that campus. Same thing. campus, yeah. And I'm using the word campus, but it's like a school site. It's not a campus, yeah. really. Um, and then if you were older, you had some of your lessons in each one. Mm -hmm. So that meant that we had to have a 15 minute break between. Just to get to the campus? Was it a 15 minute break? Yeah, 15 minute break between every class so that teachers who were teaching in the next campus had to go between. But in the US, once you get to seventh grade, sadly recess ends, but then you get gym every day and physical education. You also have so PE when, in elementary school. When do you eat your lunch? What do you mean when do you eat your lunch? You, you don't have any break. During the lunch break. Oh. Where you eat lunch. Is that different to recess? Yes. Oh, because... You eat lunch and then you have recess. Oh, I think recess is just a word that means break, right? Oh no, in the US, recess means play for the most part, as far as I'm concerned. If you've seen the TV show Recess, they don't yeah. eat during recess, they play. Oh, okay, yeah, we just had breaks, and then one of those breaks you'd eat lunch. Oh, well that's something I've learned today. Basically, I don't know about you, but uh, did you learn any American sports in PE? Did you have to like play so we had, football or anything? We had two gym type classes. Mm -hmm. our, our schedule was two weeks long, mm -hmm. so all year classes were divided. That was your loop. You yeah. Know? And so we had it once a week, I think. It was a long time ago now. I think we had PE and we had games. And games? We, yeah. And it's obviously they wanted us to My do PE course. again, but it was yeah. different. So PE was generally more about physical education yeah, sure. and the study of like, occasionally we'd like Quadriceps. measure our heart rates and like, yeah. and do things like about learning about fitness and stuff mm -hmm. while doing like exercise and circuit training or yeah. or learning balancing or like like stretching and stuff like more gymnastics type stuff yeah and then we had games and that was where you had to go outside all the time and or that's all i wanted to do as a kid i wanted to play outside play tennis yeah and basketball i was sick at basketball We'd sick oh. our, our team's rule was pass to kim so it's very brief by the way this is the period of about two weeks but i was really good at it i once scored 13 baskets in a 10 minute game i mean wow yeah I was not that good at basketball despite being And I had a heart monitor on. <laughs> Gee, okay. For, for us, we had like every month was a different uh, like game, a different sport that we had to focus on. So we had like volleyball month where everyone had to get better at volleyball. We learned all the rules and then we just played every day of gym. I think we were kind of meant to do it like that, but we never did. We, there was no like, like teachers would, it's, it was like the lesson that didn't really matter and no one cared about it anyway. And the teachers would only focus on the people who were like training, like, oh, well, really? well, uh, Ashley's a really good swimmer, so we're just going to talk to her all the time. We had a swimming pool, mm -hmm. and we, because we were a big school, so we, yeah, we did loads of different sports, like in hindsight, but at the time, it's just sort of like a bunch of people sort of hovering about. Well, we did a lot of baseball, but you guys had rounders, which is basically the, the redheaded stepchild of baseball. Yeah, we'd always want to do yeah. baseball whenever they brought the rounders back out, and they'd be like, you're not American. I learned cricket 
in, in like elementary school. So I think it was fine. I, I had a like British, uh, an Anglophile, you could say, as an elementary school phys ed teacher. Uh -huh. Do you call it phys ed or as well? Do you say PE? I've just realized I've started saying PE because I've moved to England. PE, yeah. Phys ed is what we'd call it. Yeah. Got, I got phys ed at seventh period. Um, but that makes sense because PE is the same thing. Yeah, I know, but phys ed sounds cooler. Is it. The worst month we ever had was having to run on the track, where yeah. you just every day went out in the freezing cold in December and then just had to get better and better at running a mile. See, we, we did that, right? It's so boring. we had, we had, Ugh. so you had your lessons every yeah. week, but then you also had sports day. So in the run up to sports day, they'd train us on sports day things. Um, and they'd always try to make me do triple jump because I have really long legs. Triple jump? Triple jump. It's like jumping it's three, like, like long, Mario, like whoa, It's whoa, whoa. like long jump, but. Stupider, <laughs> what they call a half a skip and a jump. <laughs> so you it go, is Mario's jump. Run, 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 and then land on the same leg, and then so da da da. da. Um, sure, sounds exciting. Uh, you had written tests as well, right? Because we had written tests at the end of every month, and so it'd be like, here's your volleyball test, or here's all the muscle tests we have to learn about the quadriceps and the thighs and how they work when you're working out. I remember them telling us a lot about that, but I don't mm. really remember if it was tested. Honestly, mm. Evan, I won't lie to you. Um, it was a long time ago. I've blocked it all out. Oh, that makes pain. sense. So from the pain. So bringing it back out of curiosity, how many times did you do gym a year if you didn't do it every day? So we had the two weeks schedule, uh -huh. and we either I can't remember. So either we had PE and games both in the both weeks. Okay. So we'd do it four times in a fortnight, or we had it once a week, and it was PE then games, and then that looping forever. I really don't. Okay, remember. so it was like every other day, roughly. That's how much. So yeah, it could have okay. been. It could have been twice a week, but I might be wrong. It's not like, bad. But, like, mm. PE would be the one that you did swimming in, and games wouldn't, I think. Sure. But then it was really confusing, because you have these two different classes, and you need a different kit for them. Mm -hmm. It's very confusing. And then obviously, when, you, when it comes to swimming, no one does it, because... Uh, you have to get wet. I wouldn't, we didn't uh, have to do swimming. All the, <laughs> it's really funny, we're like, girls, all 20 of you are not on your periods. And we're like, miss, we've synced up. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> can't check. What's she going to do about we it? We had this thing called the Presidential Fitness Program, mm -hmm. in which... Every year, you as a high school student were graded on how fit you were in an effort to make us more fit. And so one of the tests, the one that is the most infuriating to me, was the touching of your toes. And because I could not, and I still cannot touch my toes, I got an F in the class. Like, I got an F for that fitness test. There was one where you had to do 46 sit-ups in under 60 seconds. You had to do, I think it was a 45 push-ups under 60 seconds. And then you had to be able to run the, the lap of a mile in under seven minutes to get an A. Did you guys have to do any of that type of thing? No, we did have the bleep test. What is the difference between the presidential fitness program and the bleep test? Because this is what I'm interested in. Do you know, well, the, All I know what the bleep test is, is that everyone hated it and the bleep is a triggering sound. Yeah, but it's not like, I don't, I can't, I don't think we were graded on it, but... No, I think we were, but again, it wasn't like, I think they were trying to make a really conscious effort to be like, to not make the nerdy loser kids get a bad grade just because they couldn't run as fast as the cool kids. Oh, see, that's what America so was like, like. So the bleep test is you have like a, a this 20 meters. Okay, 20 meters, 20 meters. I guess, yeah. maybe. So 20 meters and then um, there's a bleep and the bleep starts at a reasonable distance apart. So it's like bleep and you have to start running and you get to the side, bleep and you're okay. Why is it bleep and not beep? I don't know. Is there a difference a in the point. sound? It's not you guys to... all decided it's a bleep test? No, we were told it's a bleep test. It's not a beep test. That would be stupid. That's really funny. I don't know. It's one of those things I just accepted. <laughs> I've never heard the word bleep except with that <laughs> specific yeah, beep. Fair. Um, but yeah, so the, the bleep <laughs> the bleep would get closer and closer together. Yeah. So it starts off bleep, like bleep, 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 like pong. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Bleep until by the end you're like scrambling across. And again, I actually, I remember I did pretty well in them. All My right. issue was that I, I, because I was a long human, mm -hmm. I did fairly well in stuff like that. Um, but I had just a, an undying hatred for authority, so I never got involved <laughs> with the school stuff well, anyway. What was your school PE uniform? So, mm -hmm. when my sister was at school, one of my sisters, they, the girls had to wear... Skorts. What the frick is a <laughs> is that like a kilt? So a skirt is what happens when society is like, okay, clearly shorts are the most convenient for this task. Yes. But we can't have women wearing shorts with their girly girly parts flapping about. What are we gonna do? <laughs> so it's basically it's a pair of shorts that you put on. Sure. That have a skirt attached to the back of them that then folds around and covers the fact that you're wearing shorts. 
Why? I don't that know. Doesn't make sense. So we did like, you could wear a skirt, but it was like a skirt. Okay. Or you could wear shorts. Oh, or right. like when it was hot, you could wear trackies. But our school was so weird. You weren't allowed to wear trackies with three stripes down them. The two was ones? the limit. You weren't That's allowed them. They were like, okay, trendy. girls, it's getting cold now. So if you want to wear like leggings or tracksuit bombs, you can. But oh, we've got a two stripe limit. And I will be calling people out on any more than that. That is really silly. So people started colouring in the third stripe. What? Uh, ours was literally just wear shorts. Or for, yeah, for women, I think they had to wear shorts as well. So it's wear shorts and a shirt as long as it's the same color as the school colors. Okay. That's all that matters. So black and gold for my first school or orange and blue for the other school. And they'd give you sweatpants, tracksuit bottoms. Um, you can buy them for like 25 bucks. That's a lot of money. It is, but they were really soft. Did you uh, like wearing the PE uniform because it wasn't the blazer and stuff that you had to wear? Like, did you just oh, we change didn't have up? to wear blazers. It was a jumper. Okay. Did you guys have locker rooms for changing out of your PE clothes and back into your blazers or jumpers or whatever? We had a changing room, yeah, but it didn't have was, lockers in. Was, oh, really? Yeah. Because like for us, when you get, let's just say I had third period gym, I'm wearing my normal clothes, my freedom of expression uniform, um, and I'd go to gym, you have to go straight to the locker room and be out by the time like the coach blows the whistle, and you have to have taken your normal stuff off, put it in your locker, which has a lock on it, and then taken out your gym clothes. And that way no one can steal your stuff, like your phone. You don't want to have your phone on you in gym. People stole phones at, at school. That then was, get lockers. Why are British people like, wow, lockers, they exist. Yeah, Use them. That's why. That's one of the reasons people didn't like PE, because they didn't like leaving their stuff behind. Yeah. But they'd get in trouble if they had the phone on them. That it was makes really sense. stupid. So then our, yeah, our PE uniform was like a light blue mm -hmm. polo shirt. And then your shorts or your trousers. So or our PE office was like behind the changing room, right? So yeah, yeah, all yeah. teachers would have to walk yeah. through. Um, including like male teachers and stuff. So, mm -hmm. they were, so then they'd always just be like, girls, are you decent? And they would oh, wait for just a walk reply through. and then they'd just walk through. It was really weird. <laughs> was that like a very stressful time? Like, because for us that was like puberty. So changing and being in your underwear in front of other people was yeah, really uncomfortable was for me. awful. I hated it. Like the fact that you're forced to be in a and locker room full of other men. Yeah, and when you're a girl, yeah. some girls have started to wear a bra and other girls yeah. haven't started to wear a bra and it, you're crippling and insecure about everything. Okay, yeah. Some girls are shaving their legs, some girls aren't. Some girls have got armpit hair, other girls will point it out. I think it's gym was the time. number one place I ever got bullied in yeah. school. That was where it was like, I'm really vulnerable and bullies were like, there he is, time to go get him. Break did down you, that self-esteem. Did you guys have that weird culture of doing the towel slapping on the ass? Yes, we the did. There was a lot of that. You'd, that. you'd do the towel and you'd go... Oh, oh, also on topic... Rat's tails, that's what they're called. Did girls and boys do gym together? Yes, we had co-ed gym. Yeah, we were split up. Really? Yeah. What's the point of that? It's just an outdated thing. It's also partly because all of the male PE teachers were really, really sexist. I believe um, that. We had a really gross one that would put the girls with the big breasts in front of the disgusting. group. So that when they did push-ups and sit-ups, he would literally sit there and watch them. It was freaking that is gross. so creepy. Yeah, a little bit. Um, look, look, yeah. I don't know why they still couldn't have the class together. Yeah. So they'd have like, oh wait, no, what am I saying? It's because there were girls sports and boys sports, obviously. What is that, like, so what? Wait. The boys would mainly play basketball. Okay. This, this is a bit that I've blocked out from my memory. So we played basketball very briefly for sure. two weeks because we requested it and we thought it'd be fun. And but that's a guy's basketball. sport. But it's a boys sport. So what we would play is netball. Which is the stupidest Wait a minute, sport. is this like the rounders of baseball? Is that netball mm -hmm. to... What's the difference between basketball and netball? Um, so, basketball, you get the ball, yeah, you, you bounce dribble. it, you stop, you shoot. you shoot or pass. Netball, you get the ball, you get stuck, you stop. As soon as you get the ball, the netball, you're not allowed to move, except for pivoting on one foot. So then you pass it over. So it's Why? Just, stop all the little girls bumping into each other and getting hurt. And, oh, 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 I've got the ball. Oh, time to give it away again. It's so stupid. This upsets me. Mm -hmm. And then, may I think maybe the boys did cricket and we did rounders. This, this is sounding oh, more like then, women's versus men's gym. I feel bad about this. Yeah, and then the boys did rugby and we did like touch rugby. And then, oh! And then, <laughs> I like two-hand touch. We played two-hand touch football in America because they don't want you to get hurt in school. Yeah. So you can't tackle people. I did get tackled, but then that kid would always get oh, thrown no, in detention. Oh, no, people always got tackled and oh my like God. sent home from injuries and stuff. And yeah, then girls played hockey and boys didn't, but I don't remember why. Hockey was stupid. We played well. floor hockey, where you just floor hockey. Floor hockey was hockey without either inline skates or ice skates. So you just <laughs> run around playing hockey. Yeah, that's called hockey. No hockey, you need to have skates. Either <laughs> skates or ice floor skates hockey. or roll hockey. Yes. <laughs> floor hockey without is hockey without skates. Yes. yes. Hockey. That's why it's not called ice hockey. <laughs> you have ice oh. hockey, and then what about rollerblading? Roller hockey, I guess. No, that's just hockey hockey. 
No, hockey is Floor hockey is running <laughs> hockey. Stupid. Yeah, I got hockey's hurt a lot. Hockey's the original hockey. default version. No. Nah. And then you add ice or nah. skate. I disagree. <laughs> so far from this, I've learned I don't think that boys and girls should be separate necessarily during gym. They should just be able to play or learn together. And also, I don't think you should be graded on your fitness abilities. Yeah. I think you should be graded on your attempts at increasing your fitness. Like, mm. oh, you did better than yesterday. You did half a push-up. Good job. <laughs> but not like, oh, you can't touch your toes. You can't run a mile in under seven minutes. That seems a bit... Oh, did you know they had girl push-ups as well? <laughs> Please don't. There's girl push-ups. Is That's that push-ups you when you have your knees? Knees, yeah. Yeah, we call them that in the scouts to like say, oh, do some girl push-ups, you can't do normal push-ups. That's just how they taught us to do push-ups, and we were like, aren't you meant to do it the other way? And they were like, no, that's the thing. So they separated us, So they're like, and then, stay weak is what they want to do to do Yeah, it. they Great, everyone them. has different bodies, and it's, and it's all, all fine. fine. <laughs> Thank you very much for checking out this video. If you had a similar experience or a different, please tell me in the comments below about your PE Phys Ed experience. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe and make new videos every Sunday. Today's video comes to you from, we're in China right now. That's weird. But I'll be back in London finally by next week. I travel too much. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <whistles> I haven't used that in a year and a half.